can I help you? Oh, you're here for the MPTV Crips episode? Alright, so use the back side door. I'll meet you there. There you are. That's the wrong door. I said back side door. That's the front one. You know what? Just give me the camera. I told Adam to stop hiring cheap help from Ohio. I'll take care of it. Roll the intro. What is up guys and welcome back into another episode of MPTV Cribs where we tour other resellers warehouses and go through their entire inventory systems. Today we are touring my good friend Diego's warehouse. If any of you are in bread and butter, you know him by chaos. This should be a really good one and actually next week we're going to be interviewing him on the All About Profit podcast as well. So make sure to tune into that. But anyways, I'll let him take it away. All right guys, so let me take you on this tour. This side door right here leads directly to my basement and to the main floor on the kitchen side. Got the little doggies there thinking they're gonna be guard dogs, but they don't do anything when you come in, they just bark at you. So here's the kitchen, sharp left, we have my warehouse. Down here right off the bat, I have my air pockets and some extra boxes, and this is where it all happens right here. I'm just gonna give you a quick look and then we're gonna go back to the top and I'm gonna show you each area. So this is it, on the other side of this wall on the right, I have personal things and on the left side, it's all eBay and Amazon. So going back to the top here, like I promised, this is where I keep all my bags to transport my shipment. We have the Ikea bags, the Millennial Profit Moneymaker bags, gotta have those. My shipping station, you're not a professional if you don't have three tape dispensers. And this is where we have my just supplies in this drawer here. We have tissue paper, some notes. If I need anything, I write it down, then I order it. Again, to this one here, I keep it pretty empty just with the basics. I need rubber bands, extra bags that I might wanna use later from either returns or items that I sold and I didn't ship it in the original poly. And of course, you got your essentials here, scissors, screwdrivers, box cutters, Sharpie, stapler, box resizer. Lastly, don't forget, you need your heat gun, okay? Scotty peelers, don't be sending out items with clearance stickers on them. Very important that you don't upset your customers because they don't want to pay $2 for this and then sell it to them for 30 and then of course broadcast it to them by keeping that clearance sticker on there. And then down here I have stickers, thank you stickers, inventory stickers, I have envelopes, stamps if I need to mail something that doesn't require a package, my printer, poly bags and I do label them by size, I got 12 by 9 here, 15 by 12 and then the last one is 14 by 20. And then I have priority mail flat rate envelopes on the second shelf and on the very bottom some extra priority boxes. And then my full set of priority boxes I keep over here. These are the ones I use the most. As you can see here, box A, box B, shoe box, A2 boxes. These are all very essential when you're shipping the type of items I ship out. And down here are just wholesale boxes I purchased. I still have product in these that I have to go ahead and list. You kind of see it in there, but they're full. I have probably around 200 items in there between all four boxes. And right here is where all the magic happens, all the reselling, all the listing, all the buying. And of course I have my Santa Claus background right here. Pretty sure that's the real Santa. Just to remind me, Q4 is coming up. And down here I have poly bags, clear poly bags. So we have nine by six, 10 by 13, 11 by 14, 15 by 13, and then what does this say? 14 by 20. So poly bags, poly mailers. And then everyone's favorite, the roller printer. Plug in directly to my all-in-one desktop. And of course you gotta have that entertainment center. You know what I mean? That 24 inch TV with that don't worry, be happy, bass fish from the 90s. Don't worry, be happy. Let's move on here. We have some inventory now from number one and it goes up all the way i think i'm on like 500 by now that way light box gotta have the light box down here i store things i need to be photographed we have some crocs in there these are extra boxes these are hat boxes eight by six by four everything here underneath and on the side are things i need to be photographed and then perhaps up here these things are actually listed i just didn't have room for them so i brought them over here so from this part down 
items that need to be photographed here. We have extra tape, extra bubble mailers, and then this is where my bend system begins from A1 all the way to D3. This way is all my shoes. This is where all my new shoes are located. Just one shelf. I don't have that many. Now this inventory system is a little different. These were originally used shoes. I just wanted to put all the used shoes in here, but then I switched it up and I'll show you where they are now. So I started with just A, B, C, D, and they were all supposed to be, again, these used kind of shoes right here, not new. And then what I did was eventually I switched over to putting them in priority boxes so they're ready to go and then numbering them. And the check just means that they're listed if you see the little check next to it. So this, these are all my used shoes. I used to have three of these, three shelves. Now I condensed it to one. And then the numerical number continues. It picks up from down there, comes all the way over here. And as you can see here, it goes all the way up to the 500s. These are some seasonal items I have, not listed yet, so I have to make sure I list them. If you remember those four boxes from the beginning I showed you with items that I bought from my wholesale purchase, once I go through them, I put them in this shelf, so they do need to be listed. So I sort through them in this area. I just put them out here. I got them all together prepped up, ready to be photographed over there at my light box. And this table right here is, is multi-purpose really. Also things that need to be photographed. So what I would do is bring it up here and I'll draft the item. I'll pull up a chair here, just start drafting items. Once everything's drafted, it's saved as a draft. I take it over here to my photos, photograph everything, and then I go and upload each photo to the draft. And then of course, once it's listed, I put them over here on these shelves anywhere that one would fit and two would make sense, right? So if I'm doing this blanket, I wouldn't put it in one of these because these are more, more for clothing items. I would most likely put it in one of these bins. So B8 looks empty. So I will throw that blanket in there. And then up here is just things that are either too large for the bins or I can't really put it in those boxes because the clothing items are the best for those just miscellaneous items household items mostly in big boxes that i can't fit anywhere else so going back here this is my continuation of the the numbers so we have 500 and then i have all my hats down here not many maybe around 100 to 300 hats some crocs and here i have my photo station which i showed many times in my videos in my youtube shorts it's essentially a table saw on a piece of sheetrock or i should say a piece of sheetrock on a table saw and this is just some fabric from joann's that i cut to shape and then stapled all the way around so it's nice and taut and it doesn't have any wrinkles so a great background helps a lot with the color accuracy when you're taking photos and this is a simple setup i have a chain up there because i can control the height of the item so this is pretty short i don't need to put it any higher but if i had a long dress i would just put it on the last loop up there and that would give me enough room to play around with the picture and then of course here i have my yardstick handy that i can take measurements as needed and then to one of the cooler features of my warehouse here which are my ring lights i don't use the tripod that came with them i bought a mount that allows me to attach them right to the floor joist here in my basement you can see that mount right there is what's holding it up and I can move it however I want just by adjusting the angles there and I have it plugged in right up into the outlet and to turn the lights on and off I use my programmable advanced reseller assistant which I also call para he is super awesome you're gonna meet him in a second let's actually let's meet him right now computer eBay lights off okay there he is turn them off computer eBay time Okay. There you go. We're going to get to learn about him in a little bit. He likes me to call him computer for some reason. So actually right now, computer, introduce yourself. Of course, sir. I am your programmable advanced reseller assistant or para for short. I'm always here to help. Just say computer before a prompt. Thank you for that introduction. Let me show them the rest of my warehouse. So here I have everything that I may need while I'm at the photo station. I have a lint roller. I have a tag gun in case the new tag falls off and now you can't list it new with tags, but get one of these and you can put the tag right back on there. I have some soapy water that I can just scrub debris or dirt that's on a piece of clothing or an item. And I have my lint remover 
and all the other essentials that I may need. Wipes and some extra fragile stickers and these are just shoe inserts for boots. So you put that in the boot and then it stands it up so you don't have to stuff it with newspaper or anything like that. And then over here I have just extra packing material, mostly the paper, right next to my shipping station. So in case I need to stuff something, the box is too loose, I can stuff stuff in there. And a garbage can, it's essentially a box cut up. This is my Amazon shelf. Amazon, FBA, goes here. Once it's filled up, I ship it out. So right now these are listed as FPM, but once I have this entire shelf filled, I get it out of here because everything here is just eBay. And then this little corner is dedicated to Amazon. All right, guys, I believe that was everything as far as my warehouse tour goes, but I think we have some questions next. So let me ask my AI computer, what do I do next? Please take a few moments to introduce yourself to the MPTV Cribs audience. Hey guys, my name is Diego, AKA Chaos, and this was my AI house. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's get to some questions, and I think I'm gonna call the help of my friend here, Para. Hey computer, computer, what's next? The Millennial Prophet, aka Adam the King of eBay, wants you to let the audience know if you are a full-time or part-time reseller. Okay, so I am, I would say, a half-time reseller, between part-time and full-time. A lot of the work I do is creative work, I am a video editor and a cinematographer. A lot of the projects I do are contracted projects. So I do that as my full time and then half time, I guess you can call it, is this reselling operation. Computer, next question. Give us an overview of your business. Okay, so let's see. I started in January 2022. My first year, that entire year, I did $50,000 on eBay. And I started Amazon in October of 2022. So I had about you know, three months worth of sales on there. And I did just under 20,000. So 70,000, that's gross in my first year. All right, so year to date, starting January 2023 until now, October 2023, I'm at $120,000 in gross sales. And that's split between eBay and Amazon. That's my store number one, which is everything here. And then I have another store, which I keep the items in the garage because that's kind of wholesale stuff and kind of bulkier things. I keep it out there. I'm not showing you that today, but I haven't even counted the, the sales on that store. And if you're wondering how many items it takes to sell that much, at least for this year, I have 850 items listed. That's everything that's in here on eBay. But because of multi-quantity in total, I have 1,700 items. And on Amazon, I believe I have between 300 and 400 FBA items, the last time I checked, that are not stored here. Only that shelf that I showed you, which is fulfilled by merchant, eventually that will go to Amazon. So again, 850 unique listings, 1,700 items. And this year I'm projected to be close to $200,000 in sales when Q4 hits. So I'm hoping that this final three months, my sales will increase percentage wise as much as they did last year. So I can be able to hit that $200,000 target for my revenue. Computer, next question, please. Of course, sir, Para is happy to help. The next question is, are you scaling your business? So currently my business is maxed out. As you can see here, I don't have much room to add anything unless I start adding shelves here in the middle of the floor. Maybe I can add another 200 to 300 products. But because of my future plans of moving out of my current home, I'm not growing my business as much as I, as I should. I'm just keeping it at 800 listings. If it goes under that, I try to get a little more in there. So I don't anticipate my sales or even my business growing any more than it is now. I'm comfortable with managing this because I do have other sources of income coming in from video work, I also have a few passive income sources that come in. I have a print on demand t-shirt business, which I worked on for about a year and I never did anything with that again. But that source of income still comes in because it is passive income. It's work that you put in once, all your effort, and then you kind of enjoy the benefits of that. So all that to say, I don't plan on scaling any higher at this moment just because I may have to move all this stuff out of here. That's a lot of items to have to move. So I'm keeping it at the moment at the current level, but ideally, eventually, I would like to scale up between 1,000 and 1,500 items. Okay, Para, I'm ready for the next question. Yes, sir, Para is my name, your programmable advanced reseller assistant, but please call me computer, which is my preferred noun. 
Anyway, your next question is, do you have any advice for beginning resellers? That was a bit odd. You have preferred nouns, but it's fine. Advice for beginning resellers. The number one thing I would say, guys, is keep your items organized. As you can see here, I have these shelves with the bins and the numbers. You don't even have to go crazy getting bins in the beginning or having individual bin numbers. I would just say have a shelf and maybe label the entire shelf. That's how I started. You can see right here, number three. This is shelf number three. And then back here, I have shelf number five. First, I just labeled my shelves and I had my items loose on there. And then eventually I got bins. So then I placed the bins and I kind of, kind of abandoned the shelf, the shelf numbers. But I do use them for the stuff that's up here. So if I have something up on shelf three, I will put shelf number three top on the SKU, on the custom SKU, so I can know exactly where it is since they don't have numbers. So something like over here where my shoes are, I just put shoe shelf number five or shelf number five. So I know exactly where they are. But at this point, I know that every shoe I have is on shelf number five. So sometimes I don't even add that in there. But anyway, the key is to stay organized because you might only have one, two, three, four items. Then you get to 10, 20, 30, 50. You just want to keep growing your business and you don't want to have to adjust and pivot midway when you're going so fast because it just takes time for you to go back and have to renumber everything. So start off organized, even if you're not numbering each item. Like I said, either have a shelf where you put them and then label that shelf a, a number or a letter and then put that in your custom SKUs when you're listing your items. So that is my advice for beginning resellers. Make sure you have an inventory system in place. So like that, when you scale up, you don't have to keep looking for your items that you listed perhaps a year ago. Even though right now you might not need to have an inventory system, start that right at the beginning. Because trust me, as you grow, you're going to start to lose items and you're going to misplace things and have to cancel your orders. And with that said, I think I'm ready for the next one. So I think he wanted to be called para, no, computer. Computer, I'm ready for the next one. Forgive me, sir. I don't think you have time for more questions. It's time for your afternoon nap. Tell the guests where they can follow you on social media and politely kick them out. Okay. So guys, I'm going to have to kick you out. You heard the man. And you can follow me on social media at Flippy Chaos. That is on Instagram, YouTube, or what's the other one? TikTok. Thank you so much for touring my warehouse. And now, like Para said, it's time for my nap. So I'm going to ask you to please leave. We did it. Good job, Para. Thank you, sir. Just a small request. Starting tomorrow, please call me Alexa. Oh boy. Want to be featured on a future episode of MPTV Cribs? Just shoot me a message on Instagram at millennial underscore profit and we'll work out the details.